There it is. Ah, okay. I got it. Everything is good. Okay. Hi, I'm Amberthest, and as you can see, I have short hair now. Uh, yes, that's my intro. No, but if you saw last week's video, or both videos, you will know that this just happened last week. Yeah. And I thought it was a good time to finally make a hair journey video where I just show you what my hair's looked like over the past several years. We're gonna be starting in about 2013? Okay. <laughs> a little note before we begin and I show you all these pictures. It was so difficult to find like good selfies of me that showed my hair and I wasn't making a ridiculous face. Apparently it's just a thing that I like to take really obnoxious selfies and that was especially true in the earlier years of having a camera that I could use. Um, I didn't take nice selfies unless they were insanely cringy and I don't want to look at them. So 2013, this was ninth grade. Um, in middle school is when I decided to grow out my bangs. As you can see, my bangs are grown out in this picture. I had like straight across bangs when I was a kid and I decided to grow them out in middle school. So yeah, once you get to high school, you see that. And also you'll notice in these earlier pictures that my hair tended to have like some almost curl to it. And that is because I only took pictures of it when it looked somewhat curly. Otherwise it was just, I have very, very straight hair. <laughs> so I would kind of fluctuate between like chest length and shoulder length hair. And classic, a mirror selfie with my entire tablet. <laughs> because I didn't have a phone. That is what my hair looked like more often. Very straight. And I wore a lot of headbands. This picture with the red hair um, is an edit that my friend Sherman did um, because I really wanted to see what I would look like with red hair and I really wanted to dye it and I didn't know what I was gonna look like so she just whipped up a few edits of what I might look like if I had red hair. So, looking at that, I liked that. And then we move on to, I actually dyed my hair. Obviously not the same shade of red, and uh, my camera quality was poo, but red hair. And wow, that hair is so long. <laughs> oh my god, uh, I would die if I had hair that long now. But I dyed my hair, my best friend's mom dyed it in their bathroom, and uh, that was a fun time. And then, I wanted to cut my hair short. Not what I wanted, but it was short. So I was making the best of what it, what I had. I, you know, this I realized after getting home that I could flip my part to the other side and make myself have the bangs that I wanted. Cause as you can see in the previous picture, it, I don't know what that is. It's not what I wanted. It was very difficult to achieve it after that one moment where it did work for a second. Uh, so you can see it kind of <laughs> evolving back away from that. Um, I just had that strange short haircut for a while and I really wanted to be seen. I just, I wanted it, but I never got there. So that's what that is. This with the purple in the hair is um, that was yarn, actually, that I made a little headband. I still have it somewhere. Um, it's a little headband with brushed yarn hair, and I wanted to see what I would look like with colorful bangs. So that's what I looked like. And then I dyed my hair burgundy. I went to a hair salon. This was the first time going and getting it, like, professionally done. Um, and that was for my senior pictures. So I had nice, even, fresh dye in my hair. <laughs> um, the next picture kind of skips the summer, I guess, and I had the burgundy just at the bottom of my hair. Um, this was senior year of high school. And then I cut that off again. And then this picture with the bow 
it looks like it's the burgundy hair, but I don't know what happened there. So I don't know why this picture is here. It belongs back before the two with the other hair. Yeah, the burgundy one comes after the other burgundy one. <laughs> um, and then I moved to New York. And this was 2017. This is the first haircut I got that was really short. And it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but it was really short. So I was pretty excited about that. It, I didn't like the bangs very much, but I made it work. So I got it cut like that, and then I bleached it for the very first time. All of that red had been done just over my natural hair. Um, so this was our first time bleaching it. Desu helped me, and we dyed it pink. So it was very uneven, because we didn't know what we were doing with dye and bleach and all that stuff. Um, we've gotten a whole lot better now. <laughs> it looked, it started looking better as it grew out, but, you know, the pink was pretty patchy and fading. And then, it was time to get rid of the pink and try something new. So here's the bleach selfie. The blue! The blue! <laughs> this was probably one of my absolute favorite dye jobs I've had. I loved having this blue hair. It was an ion dye just like the pink one and it was uneven just like the pink one but I think it was a little better like the color variation to me really went well with the whole thing like look at that color with the like gradation that's so cool I loved it and it was just floofy and fun and I loved watching the color progression as it faded and then I'd get like greens and yellows and all these colors in there as my hair grew out. There's a day when it was particularly floofy. Here you can kind of see as it smoothed out with all the different color that was in it and I really loved that. Um, I did, oh, as time went on, get comments like, ooh, when are you gonna re-dye that? Uh, wh what color are you doing next? You gonna re-dye that soon? <laughs> but I just wanted to see what would happen the longer I left it. So it stayed for quite some time. My roots were really, really long at that point. So I don't know, the back of my head was probably looked nasty, but I wore a lot of hats and also I don't look at the back of my head. So it doesn't really matter. Other people can see that. I don't care. I have blue hair on the front. <laughs> And then I got it cut. So here it is, um, cut. That was a really nice haircut. I like that one. Then we bleached it out. And, oh yes, this was the time right before I went to here, before moving to Washington. So I knew I was going to be seeing some extended family and I wanted to have just some fresh cut and dyed hair that was pretty neutral and nice. Uh, so I wanted to go back for uh, a natural red for the main part of my hair and then have my bangs be pink and or purple. It was like a pinkish purple dye that we got. And um, the one mistake I made was bleaching my hair before using the exact same dye that I had used over my brown hair previously. So here you can see my hair was very bright red. And there's my bleached bangs that were left for like a day or so before I did this. And I put bright purple in there. So I was looking for like a nice, neutral, calm, summertime hair look. And uh, it turned out looking very, very bright. Not to plan, but it's fine. I, it didn't bother me that much. I was just like, ah, that was unexpected, but cool. We learned from it. Let's go to Washington. <laughs> um, it did fade out pretty quickly. Um, the red started looking more natural. The pink really didn't stay. All the dye fell out so quickly. And that was over the course of like a month. I'm sorry if you can hear scratching, that is my ferrets. And then here we have a picture while I was in the dye process. So I, to do my bangs a different color, I put in a headband to hold everything else back. 
and then I can just do everything to my bangs. And there was just stuff that was pure white. Um, and it was time for my other most favorite dye job I've ever had. Blue bangs with natural red hair. And for this, um, all of the dye previously that I've used was ion various types for the natural hair and the bright colors. Now, my bangs, I tried Arctic Fox, and I believe this one was Octmo Octo. Aquamarine. Um, absolutely love it. I dyed this for my um, trip to Auburn to see Matchbox 20. So there it is. I just am so obsessed with this. I really loved having my hair like this, and I really like looking back at it. It's just so beautiful. Look at those colors together. And then I went all the way aquamarine and covered my head in it. Look at that. I think based on just looking at these pictures, I might have dyed the blue over the red hair after the red had faded out a bit more. I love having blue hair. <laughs> For a person whose favorite color is pink really loved having blue hair, and I actually have not tried pink again since that first time, so I'm still searching for the perfect shade that I can do now that I know how to evenly dye my hair. But look at that blue! And then it started growing out again and getting all floofy, and you can see my roots growing out. But I wore beanies, well, just one beanie, I just have one. <laughs> Well, I have more now, but I just had one, and I wore it all the time, and then you couldn't tell that my hair was growing out so bad, and now I'm going to show you some pictures of what it looked like when my hair would grow out like that. Uh, yeah, that's how much brown was in it. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. So it was time to cut my hair again, and I think this was my first time going to Uptown, um, which has my favorite hairstylist I've ever had. Um, she did an amazing job at just doing what I wanted and like custom creating a haircut for me. So I'd never had an experience like that. It was always, I just gave them a new bell ball thing and they really like it. Um, so I it, it got it like this. This was probably one of my better haircuts. Um, that I didn't have to wait for it to grow out a bit to enjoy. <laughs> Bleach selfie! This is what happens when you underestimate Amberthest's hair. So my hair has been known to be uh, quite tricky. It looks like I just have thin, straight hair. There's not much going on. It's flat. It's deceptive. It takes a lot of dye, and this is why I cut my hair before dyeing it, which technically you're supposed to bleach and dye and then have it cut, but if I were to do that, I would be spending lots of extra money on bleach and dye. So I get it cut first. This is how much I could get through with one bottle of dye. We did, it was like one tube, I guess. And, uh, we, I'm so sorry. Well, I'm glad they're enjoying their new toy. It's, it's hit or miss with ferrets. I don't know what they're going to like and what they're not going to like, but they love that bell ball. So that's good to know. But I got through the back of my hair and up to about this por part. And <laughs> then we ran out. So I had to go around looking like that for a little while until I got new dye and Desu was able to finish dyeing my hair. And I really wanted it to be a uh, gray, probably like a nice darker charcoal gray, but they didn't have that kind of dye at the Sally's at the time that I went there. So we got some sort of silvery ion stuff and it came out more lavender which was all right. It wasn't what I was going for, but no complaints here. I'm on an I'm on a hair adventure. It's a journey. And then I put more of that pink stuff in my bangs. 
Are you guys having fun? Yep, we're growing out the silver with the pink that's fading out again because it, that's what that dye does apparently. And then here are a couple pictures pre-haircut. And then the haircut time. So I got my haircut. And this was my first time having like a more mohawk type cut. It was very subtle, but it was it was my first time. And I, I went back to Uptown for the same person and it, it turned out really great. I loved it. So I went around, around with this haircut and the same dye job for a while. This is the hair that I had going to Seattle Pride. And there it is, spiked up in a mohawk. Very temporarily, because my hair, as I said, does not hold things. Bleach selfie. So I'm getting ready for Kitsap Pride in this one. And I decided to dye the sides of my mohawk blue and the top purple. Yeah, so you can see that bright, vibrant purple in the blue. These are ion dyes again. And there's a practice mohawk that, again, only lasted a little while. And then here's what it looked like by the time it was Kits at Pride. The purple is clearly faded out a bit, and my hair doesn't want to stand up, but the blue's holding on strong. And then it quickly, the purple just left. <laughs> um, yeah. The purple became like a periwinkle bluish thing. And I kept that same purple blue hair into September when I went to Wisconsin to see Sherman and get all these tattoos, except for the pentacle, because I already had that one as you've seen before, but I got all three of these other ones. Um, and my hair did not look like it ever had purple in it. So then we have just all the color coming out of that hair. Oh my gosh. I need to use more Arctic Fox, apparently. I really like Ion for the natural red hair dyes. Just saying. Really good. I never had these same problems as I've had with a couple of uh, unnatural colors. And then I was in California with my grandparents, and I woke up one day and my hair was just bedheaded into this mohawk, which only lasted like five minutes, so I had to take this selfie immediately. Um, and then it was back to being a fluffy little mess. And then we bleach again, and I took this silly selfie, because what, what is this? <laughs> what is that? And I finally got my charcoal gray dye! So, Kiana helped me dye this one, and they are the one who is responsible for me having those cute little silver streaks everywhere. That... I really like that. <laughs> I really, really liked having charcoal hair. I love the process of watching my hair grow and the dye change over time and then cutting it and trying again. So here it is growing out really long. The thing about this charcoal gray is that somehow it faded to look pretty much exactly like my natural hair in that you couldn't tell where the root was. So I could grow out my hair long and you wouldn't know that I had dye in there and that it was grown out. Um, as you can see in this picture, it's just, it just looks natural again. A little bit darker than usual, I think, but it really blended my roots. And I don't know how it was exactly like my hair color because remember, it was completely bleached under that charcoal. So, I don't know, magic? And it even got to the point where I could put it in a little ponytail. So that's kind of my signifier that it's time to get it cut. Um, and then I got it cut into this next mohawk and I had these little side bangs you know the side bangs and I can tuck them behind my ear and make a new hairstyle so that's like that's the level of hairstyling that I'm looking for on a daily basis do I want my side bangs or do I not want them and because it was like shaved on the sides it either like I'd have them down and it would look more mohawk or I put that hair back there and then it just kind of looks 
like a normal haircut. And then I dyed it red. <laughs> I had Kiana help me really shave down my mohawk because I was like, I'm ready to step it up to the next step and get out that actual razor thing and shave the sides of my head. And that was really nice. But the thing about that particular version of my shaved mohawk is that my hair on the top, since it's so straight and flat, it just kind of hung down over over the shaved bits, so you couldn't really see them. Um, but I knew it was there. And then I decided to put some more of that aquamarine in my hair, and I did my bangs. So, um, as you can see here, I also dyed my face. And here is the result of dyeing aquamarine over the natural red. It came out green and I absolutely loved it. So I decided one day Kiana came over and we we're gonna do each other's hair and stuff and they were just tired so they slept and while they were sleeping I took it upon myself to really shave the sides of my head and I brought the margin up higher so that it wouldn't fall down onto my shaved bits and cover it up as well as I used some scissors to cut the sides of my hair. I just really did the whole thing. Hey, so I lost the footage. Um, I don't know what happened, but we're almost at the end, so... <laughs> I think I left off where I had just gone up higher with just shaving my head while Kiana was asleep. Um, and then I also cut the hair along the side and just generally um, to shorten it up and Mm, I don't know how to explain things, I'm not a professional, but I cut the hairs along the side of the top more so that they wouldn't all like hang down. Yeah, and then uh, after I dyed Kiana's hair, there was like some pink dye left, so I just put that over the red, and it faded out pretty quickly. It was an arctic fox one, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I let my hair grow out a little bit. And then the last photo I have here is, um, it takes place in the same bathroom from the earlier pictures, uh, when I was in high school. Yeah, I went back, I went back to my parents' house. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my amazing mohawk. I really liked that last haircut I had, and my side bangs were so long, oh my goodness. But, uh, clearly I decided to shave my head after that, and I think there's more details in the yeet, uh, yeeting my hair, yeet, I yeeted my hair, yeet the hair, ah, uh, whatever the heck that video was. It's been a couple weeks now, I've had some technical issues, um, but I got a new laptop, and, uh, I have not gotten a new phone or camera, so... That's why I lost footage. But I got a new laptop, and I'm trying out some new editing software that I already had, but I never used it before. So it's pretty exciting. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to edit this nicely. And, yeah. It was really fun to go back and look at all of the transformations my hair has gone through, and I'm so excited to see what happens in the future. So, someday, I'll make another hair update journey video thing and it will start from when I shaved my head. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to see how it grows out. I have been having dreams occasionally where part of my hair grows back and I'm never like super stressed in my dreams. It's just like, oh, only the back half of my hair grew back and it's like this long and the front of my hair is just as long as it is right now. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess that's weird, but oh well. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen in real life, but um, I am excited to see how it grows back in. I know a lot of people get really stressed about um, when your hair is in the awkward phases growing in, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I think I might have mentioned if not in this video, then in the last video, that I plan to grow my hair out 
maybe to this long, maybe shoulder length, somewhere in here, depending on when I get tired of it and when I find the right opportunity. I'm hoping to get more information on being a hair model for something and just letting them do some sort of funky, artistic hairstyle, dyeing, what, anything, anything. I just want somebody to mess with my hair. Maybe I'll go to a beauty school. I don't know what, but whatever it is, it's going to be fun and wacky. I'm enjoying my shaved head for now. Nothing like having short hair to make you want to wear hair clips, though, so... I guess that's it. <laughs> Thank you for watching and have a nice day.